Spring King systems work by stretching the torsion spring before winding. We do this by setting the distance between the winder and the stationary cone of the spring. This distance for stretching the spring is based on the wire size and the door height. We show two ways to determine the stretching distance because you may find yourself in a situation where you don't have the spacer you need. If you don't have a spacer, measure eight coils for a seven foot high door and add a quarter inch. On an eight foot high door, measure nine coils and add a quarter inch. If you do have the spacer that normally comes with the kit, setting the space is much easier. The colors of the lines on the spacers designate the wire sizes. The spacer with the white lines is used for springs with wire sizes of 0.218 or less on 7 foot high doors and for wire sizes of 0.200 or less on 8 foot high doors. The spacer with yellow lines is for 0.225 and 0.234 wire sizes on 7 foot high doors and for wire sizes from 0.207 through 0.225 on 8 foot high doors. The spacer with green lines is for wire sizes from 0.243 through 0.283 on 7 foot high doors and for wire sizes from 0.234 through 0.250 on 8 foot high doors. Finally, the spacer with blue lines is for springs with 0.295 wire on 7 foot high doors and for wire sizes from 0.262 through 0.295 on 8 foot high doors. Here's how we use the spacer to determine where to place the spring. For a seven foot high door, it's going to be eight coils plus a quarter inch. So eight coils, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, is about one and three quarter, not quite one and three quarter. You add a quarter, and it should be right at two inches. So we want this to be right at two inches. We're going to turn it just a little bit more. See that? Oops. See that's two inches. Now this clip, just a hair under one and seven eighths. What we change is snap that on. Put this here and then you turn this. See if you wait if you're way back here, you put that in place and you turn it until it touches. Okay. Pull that out, and that's where you need to set it. You finger tighten it. Finger tighten both set screws, and then you add a half turn to each side, half to three quarters. Have your doors three quarters. If you're not sure three quarters. If you ain't three quarters. So you can mark the cone and count. You can draw a line. Mm -hmm. So we use the drill, not the impact. And then clockwise. And get a check your drill and make sure it's going clockwise. Mm -hmm. Okay. The spring will first stretch along the shaft until it reaches the winder, at which point it will begin to wind. That's a half turn, one turn. Two turns, three turns, four turns, five turns, six turns. Seven turns, seven and a half. 